Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 1st of December 2023. We hope you're good and I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news, we had a mixed session in US equities. The Dow outperformed and hit year to date highs. Possibly a bit of sector rotation going on as we saw tech stocks fairly soft and small caps doing well again. The PCE data, which was the data highlight of the week, came in around expectations. US futures have edged lower in Asian trading and Asian markets are weaker. The ASX down at 0.5% with all 11 sectors down in the early part of the session. There does look to be some recovery after some Chinese manufacturing data came out and beat expectations. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open and the VIX has paused at September support. The US dollar index moved higher overnight, but looking weak in Asia again. Gold has paused around those all-time highs, just underneath 2050, and copper's having a good day in Asia, retesting 385 resistance. Oil has remained within that short-term range edge lower today, and Bitcoin has paused still near that nine-month highs, but the absence of Selling has pushed all of the lows from each dip a little higher, suggesting that the buying pressure is still in there. Just need something just to push it over 38k. Data out today so far, as well as that Chinese PMI, which beat expectations. In fact, we had Japanese jobs and PMI data all good. We've got Swiss GDP and Canadian jobs later, which will impact on those local currencies and European and US PMI data later. Well, Charles at Cord, all right. uh, with gold doing well, we are still keeping an eye on West Gold Resources, ticker code WGS. You can still see it's playing with that 212. It did actually close over it yesterday, uh, but subsequently moved up to 320 in early part of trading, but just to pull back to that 212 again. So we're looking for a close possibly around about 214 or 215 to look as though there might be a solid sentiment change point on a weekly chart. We could see it could move up to around about 250 technically. The euro Australian dollar is interesting. We've got it on a 30 minute chart just to show you the price action today. And we've got a reversal potentially going on here with a key level uh, around about 165. We think a breach of that could be important. Take us up at least 40 pips to around this area here and maybe even 70 pips during the course of the day if that euro strength continues up to around about 165.70. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.